In our fast-paced world, the concept of time management has never been more relevant. We often hear people lamenting if only I had more time, a sentiment that echoes across the hectic lives many of us lead. But is it truly a lack of time? Or is it a case of misplaced priorities? This article seeks to explore this fundamental question. Consider this. How often do we find ourselves scrolling through social media only to realize an hour has slipped away? Or how many times have we delayed an important task only to rush it at the last minute? These everyday scenarios highlight a curious contradiction in our relationship with time. As we delve into the theme of this article, we aim to unravel the complexities of time management and life balance. The focus is not just on the scarcity of time, but more importantly, on how we can intelligently allocate our limited hours to what truly matters, from understanding the elasticity of time to mastering the art of prioritization, we will explore practical strategies to navigate through our busy schedules. The goal is to empower you to make time for both your obligations and passions, creating a harmonious balance in your daily life. Point 1. The Elasticity of Time the concept of the elasticity of time is intriguing and somewhat counterintuitive. It suggests that time, much like a rubber band, can expand and contract based on our needs and priorities. To illustrate this, let's consider a case study. Imagine a typical day in the life of a busy professional. Mornings are a rush of activities, getting ready for work, perhaps managing family needs, and commuting. The workday is a blur of meetings, emails, and project deadlines. Yet when an unforeseen emergency occurs, say a family member needs urgent attention, this professional miraculously finds the time to attend to it. This scenario isn't uncommon and demonstrates that when something is truly important, we stretch our time to accommodate it. But how does this happen? It's about re-evaluating our perceived limits of time. Often, what we consider a full schedule actually has pockets of time that can be reallocated or optimized. It's not about creating more hours in the day. That's impossible. Instead, it's about adjusting our mindset and priorities to make the most of the hours we have. This perspective is particularly empowering. It suggests that we have more control over our time than we might think. By recognizing the elasticity of time, we can start to see opportunities where we previously saw constraints. This isn't about overburdening ourselves, but about making conscious choices that align with our priorities and values. Point two, the importance of prioritization. Mastering the art of prioritization is a key to effective time management, Priorities dictate how we allocate our precious time resource. This section delves into how setting priorities ensures our time is spent on what truly matters. Every day we face a myriad of choices and decisions, shaping our life and career paths. Yet, when it comes to determining what is important, we often find ourselves at a crossroads. Effective prioritization is not just about the order of tasks, it's about recognizing which tasks are crucial for our long-term goals. For instance, an entrepreneur might prioritize expanding their business over personal health or family time. This short-term focus might yield immediate business success, but could undermine other important life aspects in the long run. Conversely, balancing professional goals with personal well-being can lead to more sustainable and holistic success. Effective prioritization involves identifying activities that are most critical to our overall well-being and goals. It might mean saying no to good opportunities to make room for great ones. It also involves continually reassessing and adjusting our goals to fit changing circumstances. In summary, prioritization is both an art and a science. It requires us to honestly assess our values, goals, and constraints, and make informed decisions based on these. 
In doing so, we can ensure our time and energy are invested in what truly counts, achieving a balance between busyness and accomplishment. Analyzing a case study of a busy individual who achieves a work-life balance can offer valuable insights into effective time management. Let's consider the example of a friend who juggles a demanding career with personal responsibilities. Initially, my friend faced constant challenges in balancing a high-pressure job with personal commitments. They often felt stretched too thin, struggling to meet deadlines while trying to maintain a healthy family life. However, they embarked on a journey of self-improvement to better manage their time. A pivotal change was recognizing the power of saying no. They learned to decline non-essential tasks and focus on what was truly important both at work and home. This shift allowed them to allocate more time to strategic projects and quality time with family. Another key strategy was setting clear boundaries between work and personal life. This involved designated times for work and family ensuring that each aspect received undivided attention. As a result, my friend became more productive professionally and more fulfilled personally. This case study underscores that effective time management is not about doing more in less time. It's about doing what's important efficiently and finding balance. My friend's experience reveals that with the right strategies, achieving harmony between work and personal life is attainable. Point three, effective time management technique. Effective time management is not just about managing our hours, it's about managing ourselves within those hours. One of the key techniques in this regard is time blocking. By assigning specific blocks of time to different tasks, we create a structure that helps focus and productivity. For instance, one might allocate two hours in the morning solely to deep work, free from distractions like emails or social media. Another important aspect is understanding the power of routines. Establishing a morning routine, for instance, can set a positive tone for the day, boosting energy and focus. Similarly, an evening routine might involve reflecting on the day's accomplishments and preparing for the next day, promoting a sense of completion and relaxation. Mindfulness and self-awareness are crucial in time management. Being aware of our most productive hours and structuring our day around them can lead to more effective work. For example, if one is most alert in the early hours, tackling the most challenging tasks during this time can yield better results. Additionally, leveraging technology effectively can be a game changer. From using project management tools to digital reminders, technology can help us stay on track and prioritize tasks efficiently. However, it's important to use these tools wisely and not let them become a source of distraction themselves. Finally, flexibility is key. While it's important to have a plan, being adaptable to unforeseen changes and challenges is equally crucial. This means being willing to adjust our schedule and priorities as needed, ensuring that we remain productive and stress-free. Point four, overcoming procrastination. Overcoming procrastination is a vital component of effective time management. Procrastination, often rooted in fear or anxiety, can significantly hinder productivity. It's important to understand the psychological factors behind procrastination and develop strategies to combat it. One effective approach is breaking down tasks into smaller, manageable parts. This makes daunting tasks seem more achievable and less overwhelming. Setting small, achievable goals can create a sense of accomplishment and momentum. Another strategy is to establish clear deadlines for tasks, even self-imposed ones. Deadlines create a sense of urgency and can motivate action. Pairing this with rewards for completing tasks can further enhance motivation. Mindfulness techniques can also help in overcoming procrastination.
Being mindful about our feelings and thoughts towards a task allows us to address the underlying reasons for delaying it. Practicing mindfulness can increase our awareness and control over our actions. Finally, creating an environment conducive to productivity is crucial. This involves eliminating distractions, organizing the workspace, and perhaps most importantly, cultivating a positive mindset towards work and responsibilities. By addressing procrastination head-on and employing these strategies, we can significantly improve our time management and overall productivity. Point 5. Self-regulation in time management. Self-regulation plays a pivotal role in time management. It involves the ability to control impulses, emotions and behaviours to achieve long-term goals. A key aspect of self-regulation is self-discipline, which allows individuals to persevere in tasks even in the face of difficulties or distractions. Developing self-discipline can be challenging but is achievable through consistent practice. One method is to set clear and realistic goals. These goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart. Tracking progress towards these goals can also provide motivation and a sense of achievement. Another important component of self-regulation is emotional control. It's essential to manage stress and anxiety, as these emotions can impede our ability to focus and make decisions. Techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or taking short breaks can help in maintaining emotional balance. Time management also involves developing resilience. This means bouncing back from setbacks and learning from mistakes, adopting a growth mindset, where challenges are viewed as opportunities for learning and improvement, is crucial in this process. Lastly, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including adequate sleep, exercise and proper nutrition, can significantly enhance our capacity for self-regulation. A healthy body supports a healthy mind, enabling us to manage our time more effectively. By incorporating self-regulation techniques into our daily routine, we can enhance our ability to manage time and increase our overall productivity and well-being. In the realm of effective time management, the integration of Stoic philosophy offers a profound perspective. Stoicism, a philosophy of ancient Greece, teaches the importance of focusing on what is within our control and gracefully accepting what lies beyond. This principle is immensely applicable to time management, where we often grapple with the balance between our plans and life's unexpected turns. By adopting a stoic approach, we learn to distinguish between our efforts and the outcomes that are not ours to command. This wisdom guides us in prioritizing tasks, understanding that, while we can control our actions, we cannot always control the results. In the context of time management, this translates to a pragmatic and focused approach, where we do our best within the given constraints and accept the outcome with equanimity. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us to embrace challenges as part of the natural order, viewing them not as obstacles but as opportunities for growth and learning. This mindset fosters resilience and adaptability, qualities essential for managing time effectively in a dynamic and often unpredictable world. Ultimately, the Stoic philosophy in time management is about cultivating inner tranquility and clarity. It's about making peace with the finite nature of our time and using it wisely and purposefully. As we embark on the journey of mastering our time, we are in fact on a path to mastering ourselves, to live a life of purpose, productivity and inner harmony.